The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 684. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is the co-founder of WeBar, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Annabelle Chu. Annabelle, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, Sheena. I'm very well today. As Sheena has introduced, my name is Annabelle. I was actually formerly a professional musician to an entrepreneur. And three and a half years ago, I co-founded WeBar. WeBar is like a boutique fitness studio dedicated to all things bar fitness. Today, we are on our way to becoming Asia's number one bar brand with eight locations across Singapore, Hong Kong, and hopefully more cities to come. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Annabelle, what's your cultural background? Born and raised in Singapore, true blue Singaporean. Thanks for sharing that. And what be your favorite self-confidence quote? Actually, I was thinking and looking back into it, and I have two, and it comes both, both of them come from the Roosevelt's. So one is, each time we face our fear, we gain strength, courage, and confidence in doing, and no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Thanks for sharing those great quotes. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? I think it's knowing and believing what your self-worth is. If you hold that true and really believe that about yourself, no one can take that away from you. But I also think self-confidence is not just the blind belief in your abilities. For example, if you know I don't know how to drive a car, I can't drive a car, I can't just have the self-confidence and believe that, yeah, I think I'll be just fine. I'll go drive a car and see how that goes. I feel like, you know, more likely than not, I'll probably crash. So... In that case, if I'm confident that, you know, I have the potential to be, say, a great driver, then I would need to take the time to, you know, take lessons, hone my skills, but also having the confidence that I will get there one day. I think self-confidence comes from hard work, constantly perfecting your craft, repeatedly making mistakes and learning from them. Then, you know, sort of coming to the full realization of your potential and then also having the confidence to act on it pursue it and really, you know, go all out. Thanks for sharing that. I I love that um, explanation that you had because, yeah, sometimes, you know, we have to learn to, like you mentioned, like hone our skills, create our practice on our craft to get at that stage that we want to be. And sometimes, you know, we feel like it might take a while, but really it's, you know, it's all part of our journey. And when we get there, it's going to be so refreshing. And it's just like this great feeling of confidence after. So thanks for sharing that great definition. And Annabelle, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Yeah, so I was thinking about that. And to be honest, I feel like for most of my life, I have had to have self-confidence. Growing up in a traditional Chinese family, as you know, some of you might know, positive affirmation, praise, was a rare commodity. So I recall and thinking back from a young age, I feel like I knew that, you know, I was smart. And I also knew that if I worked hard, I would excel in school. But, you know, I came back with great, you know, grades all the time. But my parents, like they were pleased, but they weren't, you know, overly excited about it. It was like, you know, it's a given, you should do well in school. And then I decided that I didn't want to bench my abilities and, you know, my self-worth from another person's view of me and started, you know, kind of building my little own fortress of self-confidence and that later on when things got hard, you know, when people had doubts about me, when I had doubts about me, I feel like this, you know, fortress, this inner strength is where I draw my strength from and I remember how I got there in the first place. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I really like that. um, I really like that fortress of confidence that you mentioned, because it's kind of like how Superman has his own fortress. Like he just goes there to like 
have time to think and like learn about himself and like meditate, whatever it is, right? Like he has that fortress to go through when he feels he needs to. And I, and I think, you know, that's, that's a great thing that we should start building, right? Because sometimes, you know, we just need time to ourselves to think or kind of like dump our thoughts or meditate, whatever it is, right? Like it's your own fortress. Like you can do whatever you want. It's like, like calm down and you have time to, or, you know, space to realize what's happening. Yeah. So I think that I, I really love that fortress of self-confidence that you mentioned and you know like what was that point in your life when you realized you can go out there and do what you want especially you know transitioning from a professional musician to becoming an entrepreneur you know not a lot of people I mean, i'm sure a lot of people would f- be like why would you do that you know you already have a stable career i mean you're starting from scratch you're gonna go through all these mistakes and you know people do that out of fear and love at the same time but you know what was that aha moment when you realized you can go out there and you know do it <laughs> I think I was a good play at a good place and a good time in my life. I think timing plays a very important part of it all as well. But I also know myself really well. And I know that if I put my mind to something, there's not a lot that I can't do. Yeah. So that was kind of, you know, my, my moment into it. And, you know, I, I feel like if it's something that I want to do, I know that I can equip myself with the skills. I know that I will work hard. I know that, you know, if, even if I can't do it on my own, I'm always open to getting people who can help me. And I feel like, you know, I just want to be focused and, you know, stay on the path. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's great, you know, especially having that mentality because as women, especially Asian women, we are always like second guessing ourselves and we can't, you know, sometimes we don't know how to make decisions on our own. We feel like other people have to make it for us. But, you know, when you start a business, we never have everything figured out. But I like how you mentioned, like, if I just put my mind to it, I know I can get it done. Like, And yes, mistakes will happen and there, there will be bad days and there'll be days where you feel like quitting. But, you know, if you just keep pushing, we will get there. So I, I really love that analogy that you had. And, you know, just that, just your like the way of thinking that you have when you're starting a business, especially starting something that's totally different from what you did before. So thanks for sharing that. And, you know, because of those realizations, what's your life been like now? It's a constant journey. I mean, it's not like, you know, I have my aha moment and, you know, it's it's a fairy tale happily ever after ending. I still have moments where I have, you know, self-doubt, especially in things that either I have less experiences, less success with, or just, you know, being less familiar with a foreign ground. But I like like I said before, you know, I put my mind to it. Also, I feel like as I got older, I've also grown to learn to pick my battles and kind of push for the ones that really matter. And for the rest, you know, you can't win on every count. Just let it be if it's not, you know, a crucial battle that you need to win. And also as I grow, I also like, you know, having a sense of a quiet confidence. And I feel like I don't need to, you know, blast it out there. I don't need to toot my own horn. I just know what I have. I know my value. I know, you know, what I can do. And it's that quiet confidence that, you know, I'm happy with. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I love how you mentioned learning, like not winning at everything because, you know, especially in this world, we feel like we have to win at everything. But sometimes just letting go of that battle that you think you can't win, that's just winning on its own because it's like you're just letting it go and, you know, you're just moving forward. And if we see things that way, like it just makes things a lot better and we just feel a lot better about ourselves. So thanks for sharing that. And Annabelle, for our listeners, um, we're listening to your episode and they were in their own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to them? So like the quote that I mentioned above, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. So shut out all the extra external noises, external voices, and sometimes including the ones that are in your head. And I always feel like the external voices of other people, what they say to you often is a reflection of their own current state, their current mindset. And your internal voices are coming from a place of fear. And to conquer fear, you have to have courage. And to have courage, I feel you have to love yourself first. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out some of your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can check? So if you want to find out more about WeBar, this amazing workout that we've created, it's on WeBar.com. WeBar is spelled W-E-B-A-R-R-E. And personally, if you want to you know, follow me, get insights on my life, I'm active on Instagram. So it's Annabelle.Chu and you can find me right there. 
Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Annabelle, you can also head on over to the com and search for Annabelle's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Annabelle today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Annabelle. You're very welcome, Sheena. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Please subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to get your daily boost of confidence.